Hi, my name is Bradley Eli. I'm a dentist practicing uh, the specialty of oral facial pain and temporal mandibular disorders. In 1990, I was um, fortunate enough to be in the first class of a two-year postgraduate training program at UCLA in Los Angeles. After completing my two-year postgraduate training, I became a staff member at the pain centers at Loma Linda University and Scripps Memorial Hospital in La Jolla, as well as UCSD on the training staff in the pain centers. I have been in private practice or clinical practice for 30 years and am responsible for the product QuickSplint, the product that I developed out of a true necessity um, for the need to help patients immediately and to address acute jaw sprain strain injuries uh, which are a real problem in dentistry. So one of the disease states that I was seeing um, very commonly was um, acute muscle injury and the patient had gone to a dental visit and post that dental visit they were having difficulty and they were coming through the, my office door and um, as referred by the, their dentist and they needed help that day, you know, right then. And um, they were having difficulty opening their mouth without pain. And so when I looked at our standard, you know, way to treat it, what I realized is this standard way to treat it is not really the appropriate way to treat it. This is a... Uh, to use an analogy, this is a cast. You know, if somebody sprains their ankle, you don't cast every single ankle that comes through the door. So, was there a way that we could make something that would fit the patient, would be able to be placed with ease, speed, not have them have to open real wide, but still give them some sort of interference? with their um, behavioral issues at nighttime and during the daytime. Slowly forming what became we now call the quick splint. And why do we call it a quick splint? Because it's quick and it's a splint that is designed to be fitted to the upper or lower arch. And as you can see, you know, it just kind of fits in a standard fashion over the teeth by lining it with um, impression material, uh, quick set, heavy body impression material, it will be placed, trimmed, and sent home with the patient, you know, within usually five minutes of them um, being identified as needing one. So I was in my practice and I was, I had made these for myself and I literally made these for myself. I did not make these for the population and as I was using it I was realizing how effective this treatment was, how simple the treatment was and how many of the patients who I would have historically put in an expensive long-term therapy were getting better and moving you know back to their norm without long-term therapy. When educating a patient, well, do they really need long-term appliance therapy or are they just a short-term? Like they need an ACE bandage or do they need an ACE bandage followed by a surgical procedure followed by, um, you know, putting them in a cast and then rehabbing them. So essentially it was an orthopedic model that a lot of the, the educators now in the field are starting to see what we're talking about, which is Jaw and muscle sprain strain is a realistic problem in the field. The education at the pre-doctoral level of dentistry on what temporal mandibular disorders are all about and what muscle pain and its treatment is all about is getting better and the future is um, very bright for this field. But again, we want to stratify populations, we want to specify treatments for specific disease states, and we want to get diagnostically better at what we do.